If you have a DualShock or PlayStation 4 controller just like this, then you can actually pair it with a Fire TV stick or a Fire TV cube. Now, what you're going to do is get the controller to turn on by holding the PlayStation button here. Once it is on and you're actually seeing it on, then what you're going to do is hold both these two buttons at the same time for about seven seconds. And then you will see the PlayStation 4 controller start to flash. This means it's ready to be paired with a Bluetooth device. Now in your Fire TV interface, you're going to go into settings over to controllers and Bluetooth devices and then down to game controllers and hit the add new controller. Now you will have to wait a little bit and then the words wireless controller will show up. You click on that again with the Amazon Fire TV remote and it will pair to your controller. Now what you'll get is this light on the controller showing you that it has been paired correctly and a message on screen that says the wireless controller is now connected. From there, many of the games on the Fire TV operating system are going to work right away. You'll have to figure out which buttons are there and there's not really a mapping utility, but then you can go and download things like RetroArch and play games there and you'll need to remap the buttons to your liking. Now, if you are are struggling with this there are some people who used to struggle quite a bit that could mean your fire TV is not updated to the latest version otherwise this is an unofficially supported or not officially supported device so you will have to just keep trying that pairing process now make sure to check out our other tutorials here on automate your life tutorials or check out our main channel where we bring you all the latest features and capabilities for Amazon's entire ecosystem. Thanks for watching everyone and of course don't hate, automate.